So, hello and welcome to another episode of Fancy Encounter. Today we are here at RAF Colby Grange. Um, it's a World War II watchtower, uh, still owned by the, uh, the MOD, uh, but it seems totally left and abandoned, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it is very derelict, as you'll see as we go around. Um, it's a fascinating place. I've been here a number of times myself, but nobody else has. So I'm trying to say as little as possible. We came in separate cars, so there has been absolutely minimal conversation about this location. In fact, just before we started filming, it was actually asked, oh, sorry, where are we again? So um, literally, they, they, they have no idea. Um, we've been setting up some of our gear and uh, having a bit of a walk around, climatizing ourselves. And there's been some odd feelings with those of the few members, so it should be interesting to see what we get tonight. Um, so guys, what kit have we got with us? Uh, we have got several in, um, large cameras. Sure, yeah. We have got the EMF detector. Which has already been going which off. Which has already gone off. We have got um, a UV light. We've got motion sensor lights. Yep. We've got an SP7 box. Yep. We've got nec necrophonics as well. Got well. As well. The apps that we used for the last episode actually proved to be quite interesting. Um, we tried testing it to make it parrot what we were saying, but we couldn't make it do that. No. And then things came through about family members that have passed, where it wasn't spoken of, uh, that they in fact passed on, it was just a name that was mentioned. Um, so really interesting that, that that was coming through as well. So I want to use that app again. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of different apps um, that we want to trial again. We'd like to keep trying apps. So if you are an app developer and you have something that you'd like for us to trial on our investigations, please feel free to drop us an email on the YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, any of them. Just reach out to us and we'd love to, uh, we'd love to test them. Uh, but yeah, so what else have we got? We've got two Canon 700 DSLRs, mm -hmm. um, which are, they're film cameras, they're still cameras, so we've got a few stills as we've gone around. Fantastic. We're going to need to get the um, LED panel lights out to help them though, because they don't have the infrared facility. Sure. Um, but that worked really effectively when we were in um, some bottles a few weeks ago. So yes. just got to be careful not to light the place up like a Christmas tree this time, so we don't want any you know, unwelcome attention from the, the boys in blue. Um, yes, of course. I think we didn't back on to um, an active area. It's yes. some, some way distant, but yeah. obviously we've got to be exactly. careful of that because it could obviously be attracted to the station. So we'll get the panel lights on, we'll probably just set them up in the internal rooms that have got um, little or no access to the outside and hopefully we'll get some interesting stuff. Um, I've noticed uh, we've got to be careful that there's a lot of gnats about on the outside, so we've got to watch for any insect activities and then yes, uh, return point, that. Point. Um, I have just seen something from Sarah's room as well. Really? Downstairs. Okay. So, that could have been, but it was just like a silver line and then it went. So, okay, well, some things like down here, well, it says, and then But it wasn't my camera because it can't flash. No, 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 that was my phone. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. Demons! 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 Fantastic. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. I think it's so wonderful when you come to a place where there's activity happening from the second you put your bags down and start to get the year out. I mean, we couldn't get it up and running fast enough, did we? Um, so I am super stoked. I, I, I definitely feel like there is a charged energy here. Um, now, I do know one or two of the stories, and I have had personal experiences here myself before, but there's an electricity here. There is, just as a disclaimer, there is no, no electricity. electricity. But that feeling of, uh, of electricity in the air and that supercharged sort of activity. Yeah, yeah, static, exactly. Um, so, yeah, excited to see what tonight brings.
yeah, so I've never been here before. We've just arrived. We're a bit of a wrecky around the place taking pictures. And these stairs in particular are a little bit, a little bit creepy. I feel pretty unsafe. I know this is missing, but I do feel very unsafe on here. Um, I've heard reports that there's a man here that does not like women, and there's been incidents on these stairs. Um, let's just say that it'll be interesting to see what time. Well, we arrived here about half an hour ago. We started to set the equipment up. We've kind of brought them around. The place does have quite a feel about it. We're hoping for a good night. And with a bit of luck, we should get some action for the cameras. Okay, so we've been here a while. We've just been setting up our stuff. And just been having a walk around, taking some pictures and getting a feel for the place. Um, certainly get not a lot of feelings until I come into this room at the moment. This is the room that's causing me the most um, feeling of apprehension, as it were. This and the stairs, um, so just slightly under the stairs, getting quite a nervous feeling in here all the time, actually. I'm quite uncomfortable. Um, just done the first piece of camera from uh, Tina, and she was saying how she felt in this room in particular she felt uh, the most apprehensive and it is right next to the stairs. Now, what I will edit into the video here is that actually uh, this very room is where I got my, my hands down the best piece of footage of the paranormal ever in all of my years doing it. Um, and it was a photograph I took, nine people huddled behind me, so nine people huddled where, where we are now, all lights off, pitch black, middle of winter, took a picture and got two of the best light anomalies. They weren't just single, they looked like, one looked like a snake, but mid-air, but it did actually look green as well, that was the bizarre thing. Um, so, uh, so it's interesting um, that that was your initial feeling That's of it right. um, and we came in two different cars we have not discussed this location prior um, so yeah really interesting let's see what tonight brings <laughs> Okay, so Danielle and I were just coming up here to film. She just looked out the window, turned around, and the stairs are really quite far away, because um, she was right by the window, and literally just uh, got quite a shock, thought she was gonna fall down the stairs. What happened, Danielle? Um, it just felt like I was gonna go backwards, like there was nothing behind me, and I was gonna fall. Well, momentum was taking me that way. Wow, that's quite interesting. A, quite a shock then. Okay, so I won't talk about it now, but there are, um, uh, just so I don't want to affect the, the, the night, but there are actually, um, there's supposed to be one male spirit that's actually on these stairs just here. Um, so that could be quite an interesting little, little occurrence. Welcome to RAF Cold Grange. We have come here, the entire Phantom Encounter team, uh, we've come here tonight to investigate. This is where I got some of the best uh, visual footage I have ever got in all of my years uh, searching out the paranormal. Uh, I will insert a clip. Uh, interestingly, we've already had three or four experiences which are peaking to me because although I have been here previously, I'm trying to be very careful of not uh, not telling too much to the other team members because none of them have ever been here before. So one of the things that occurred was downstairs where I got this piece of footage I just spoke about, um, Tina, when I was doing her first bit of filming to camera, was saying she felt uneasy in a particular room downstairs, like her stomach was doing flips. Well, that was the exact room where I got the picture and you'll be able to see that when, when, I, when I insert it. So that's really interesting. Um, then again, Danielle was saying that she instantly didn't like the stairs. Well, this is where the top of the stairs, where stones get thrown out of the window. Um, people have felt like they're being pushed. Um, there's been all sorts of odd things. Um, 
so far, um, Julie, say, Julie said that there's a little bit of a feel to it, but we've got to see what progresses as the night goes on. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. We've got all of our gear set up. So um, yeah, let's see what the night brings and, and let's get going. Thank you, Cody. Rock and roll. Okay, so I've just walked into this room, literally just turned this on, and it is going up and down, fluctuating. It hasn't settled anything yet, but it keeps going back to zero and then going up again. Okay, so do you want to start calling out? Hello, is anyone here? Anyone want to speak to us? Oh, maybe there is. Could you come towards this green light so we can see you're here? Just like that, thank you. We've all come here to speak to you tonight. It seems to be coming forward and backing away, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And there it goes again. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you come really close, it'll turn the green light to red. It'll go red and it'll start to beep if you come really, really close. That is really close to us. Really next to it. Gosh. We've got up to 14. Yeah, it's been, that's what it's been doing, yeah. We just want to talk to you, we mean you no harm. And as you can see, I'm nowhere near anything electrical. No. And it's just going up and I'm not moving it. It's just going up and down, like someone's walking past it. Just repeatedly going backwards and forwards. It's not getting that big spike now, is it? I'd like it to come close. Oh, there we go. Can we make contact with us? It's like someone's pacing backwards and forwards in front of it. It could be out as well. No, I don't think it will get it out, sir. No, this, um, you literally, you have to be like really, really close. close if to I it. can just take, well, I'm not sure if my phone will do it, but if I can just take my phone and show you how close you've got to be. I mean, that's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. No. Okay, that so that's, that's how close you have to be. Okay, and it's still going up and down. Yeah, come closer. Okay, we're going to speak to you this evening. If you'd like to make contact with us, uh, please come as close as you can to that green light. Uh, we need to go as close to that as you can, and you can make that turn red if you get really close to it. We're here for you. We only, um, hold no disrespect towards you. We're here to just make contact and to see if you want to make contact with us. So other than the stairs, this has been completely flat. And I've been around every room and around the outside. Now it's gone to and zero. It's gone to zero again. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have just recorded a piece to camera with the EMF meter with Danielle. And um, it's been fluctuating like mad. Um, but interestingly we heard knocking and we thought that it was Paul, um, one of the members of the team and he has just confirmed to us that in fact no, it, it wasn't him at all. Um, that's, that's a little bit crazy. It sounded like it was that wall, it was really close. I mean it'd be on the, I imagine it'd be caught on the audio. Yeah. Hello to any spirit who might be here. You have been close to us a couple of times, you have made the numbers go up. Could you please come close enough to turn the green light to a red light? It's the first time the temperature is stable. 18.1, yeah. And it ain't I get the impression that you're walking a patrol around these rooms. Sorry, did anyone just hear a bang? Yeah. yeah. Like a thud? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like the door being shut up. Yeah, it's a proper thud, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Thud. yeah. Did you do that thud? No. No. We thought it was you. No, we've literally we've just been saying that we heard that too. I wonder if it's 
this is person leaving because this is complete. Just been having a look around to see if there's anybody outside because all the knocking was in the thuds. Okay. Is, um, did you find anyone outside? I can't see anybody outside at all. Okay. No. Should we do a, a walk in? Okay, so we've had quite a few fluctuations in this room as if someone's walking backwards and forwards. Um, it's gone to zero now. Um, I get the impression that someone's walking about maybe doing a patrol, uh, maybe a guard, or maybe someone's just pacing, they're, they're waiting for something. So we're going to go around the other rooms, particularly these two back rooms that have got sentry points at the windows. Um, I'm going to see if this fluctuates in any of those rooms. Temperature's dropped two degrees since that first fluctuation, and it still isn't 17 degrees, but it's dropped. Nothing in there. Please come forward. Are you the spirit that we've been having encounters with already this evening? Do I try calling 
calling to any spirits who may be here. We know that some of you have been around this evening. We've already had contact from some of you, or from someone, certainly. Would you please come back and make contact with us again? We are friendly. We wish you no harm. We would just like to make contact with you. spirits that might be here with us. We ask that you come forward and make your presence known. Did you have a lump in there? Not particularly. It's already been the footage. I'm sorry I just heard a rumble. Can you go and visit Danielle on the stairs? that you're here with us. What is your name? Are you able to communicate with us? Say hello. We don't mean you any harm. Thank you for allowing us into your home. Shadows were gathering behind me, and I was trying to make a big way for the books. There was light, and the light shining in totally the opposite direction. Uh, I don't think the night vision cameras are actually casting the light out. No. So, um, and there's no there's no lights from the traffic coming through. Like you can see, there is obviously a road there, but, that's but downstairs you can't see it because we've got a vantage point from up here. Um, and there weren't that kind of shadows anyway. It was more kind of coming on the shoulder. Okay. So just kind of coming up, just just kind of over and okay. past. So. so where was that? Where about downstairs? Show us where it is. Okay. Yeah, so I'll show you where it was. Okay, so um, we're again, again just in the stairs area, and we are starting to get fluctuations on. Uh, the EMF, it just went up to 12 and then zero again. It's still zero now. Um, so yeah, let's, let's carry on. Something just flew past your head. Something just flew past my head. Oh, okay. I was, just, I was literally just, just leaning here, okay. getting a feel for it. Then it was just here, so I know, something felt like it went across there. But then it just felt like the shadows going behind me just here. At the doorway? Just, yeah, actually, but they'd come right into the doorway. So it was around this sort of area. 
it just felt like at the time I kind of and you can see again there's no there's no lights coming through there from the road so you can hear the road yeah no problem the light doesn't cast sound sound cast light I see what, it does feel really impressive in that doorway. with the EMF, you need to walk to the end by the, um, by the bottom of the stairs and start to call out.
disgrace. Yes, I did. Sense something. to just work through it in my mind and think the other two are upset there is no way that they could be casting a light is there somebody here with us problem is that if it's the stone tape theory I'm a better theory um, but yeah if it's the stone tape theory then um, It's just a, a replay of energy. What? Torchline. No, is it them upstairs? Yeah, they there's some just over there as well. That should be in front of them upstairs. Okay. I need some light because I need to find out where they are. Yeah, they are. Don't know if it's you. Not me. Oh, I've only got the EMF, not flashing anything else. Paul just said his torch was off. My torch is off. Been off all the time because I've been in here. So where are those lights coming from then? Yeah, 
damage on my head, which I haven't really felt yet anywhere else. Okay. So sort of just a, a real sort of uneasiness all around. To interject, your name of her multiple times. Yes. 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 Yeah, that, that was... Again, uh, on request, was on request, on demand, almost. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Judy, what about yourself? Probably downstairs. Uh, fairly sure that we caught an all. Uh, certainly there were shadows and somebody was in the room and then at the stairs there's a real ice cold blast okay. but it's only at that point that yeah, we got in the stairs. Okay. It's like walking in a fridge. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you know, the words that come up when we're up here are quite certain yes. <laughs> at yes. us. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. We will be leaving the advice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we will be going in a second. We promise. <laughs> Daniel, what was your favourite um, part of tonight? I think it's just because it was, it was immediate. The minute we walked in, um, there was no sort of like, oh, when it gets dark, it gets scary. It was, this, it was still bright when we were here. Yes. When we first arrived, and we were getting EMF spikes and orbs, and I was getting pushed down the stairs and fun things like that. Um, and yeah, we can't discount. Yeah, very true. I have to say, I think from, from my point of view, having been here previously, I've not been here for a number of years, it, it's supercharged energy here. If anybody is in the area in Lincolnshire, uh, it's near um, RAF and Wellington um, on the A15, um, but it, it's, it's a really interesting place. You get, seem to get something new every single time. Um, even I feel slightly unnerved this evening. Um, I can't exactly put my finger on why, but I do. I feel supercharged and I feel quite, you know, like flighty and nervous. Um, I think certainly we've had some incredible uh, potential evidence. I'm looking forward to, to sifting through all of it because uh, we've got like about eight cameras <laughs> now. So, uh, so yeah, we've got plenty of footage to go through. Um, but yeah, I think it's been a fascinating evening all round. Um, I think we've all had personal experience, um, as well as, say, the collective leave. Um, <laughs> so, uh, like, like Daniel said, I think, we need to, I think we need to heed that advice. But certainly, if you're in the area, come and have a look at this place. It is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but yeah, thank you ever so much for joining us. Thank you ever so much for tuning into Phantom Encounter again for another episode. We hope that you'll join us next time. Uh, but until until then, my darling, stay spooky. Peace out. Bye. Bye.